Shalom, praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. We thank God for his love and grace upon us this far. We are still reading uh, the book of Psalm 121. Yesterday we looked at verse 1 and 2. Today we are reading verse 3 and 4. And the Bible says, He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The psalmist gives us such a great assurance that in our journey, in our Christian walk, as he started in verse number two by acknowledging that my help comes from the Lord, creator of heaven and earth, he is giving us this kind of an assurance that in this journey we are under the watchful care of the Almighty. He's taking care of us. And he's saying, he will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. What an assurance. This great watchful care of our God upon his own. And his own is you and me. He who watches over you will not slumber. Even now. Whatever you are, you are going through, whatever you are experiencing, I want to assure you that he who watches over you will not slumber. Not only so, uh, in verse number three, still part A, he says, he will not let your foot slip. This is an indication that in our Christian walk, the road is full of challenges. There are places that have deep pits, but the Lord will not allow, he will not let your foot slip. There are times when you go through very sloppy places in your Christian walk. The Lord will not let your foot slip. And he assures you and me that he who watches over us will not slumber. Along the way, sometimes we feel as though it is too much. And as sojourners, we even tend to fall asleep. The psalmist gives us this insight that he who watches over us, even when we doze off along the journey, he remains alert. But he's calling upon us to acknowledge that our help comes from him, not from anywhere else. The psalmist addresses himself with this kind of an assurance, which today I would urge you, oh, the Lord is helping us to see that this is our portion. This kind of an assurance that God will not allow any evil to come near you. Or he will not allow you to hurt yourself. He will not allow your foot to slip. And he will keep you at all times because, verse number four, indeed, and I love the word indeed, indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. When we talk about he who watches over Israel, we can put our names there. He who watches over me will not slumber nor sleep. He is alert. He is there to protect us. And in the journey, as travelers, as sojourners, we need to connect with God. This God who does not slumber, this God who does not sleep, he will take care of us. He will not neglect us. He will keep us at all times in perfect peace. And God will take charge over our lives. The psalmist is confident that they, you know, there is hope, there is comfort, there is what I need and so long as I acknowledge that God is the source of my help, not any, anything else, not even the stability of a, of a mountain. Yes, my help comes from the Lord. It's confident that, yes, I'll get there because I am under this watchful care of the Almighty. He's watching over us with great love and mercy. Let us draw our help from the Lord. And at all times, even when we fall asleep, even when we get so tired, when we feel so surrounded, the Lord is assuring us two things. He will not let your foot sleep and he who watches over you will neither slumber nor sleep. What an assurance. God bless you. God keep you remain under the watchful care of the Almighty. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.